You are listening to a Bucking Spurs podcast. On this video, I just want to kind of go over what my thoughts are on on Derek White playing in USA FIBA competition versus maybe other like other players in this offseason who are just kind of working out in the gym, working out with other players, working out on their skill development, on their strength, and all that is good. Like that's, I'm not trying to dog on that because that's what 90, you know, nine percent of the league is doing right now. They're working on their games, they're playing pickup games, and I ain't getting hyped over no pickup video. I ain't getting all hyped up over anyone playing in a gym with other NBA players balling up whatever it's not the same but is it good it's good conditioning it's good for them to stay in shape a little bit but you know the real shape comes when training camp starts which is 21 days away shout out big timmy coach timmy the big fundamental 21 days from now we will be starting training camp it will be the first day um but Derek white's over there playing if you like he is actually playing organized basketball at a very, very, very high level. Uh, he's having to play balls out defense, which anyone outside of the FIBA World Cup isn't doing. I mean, even in, in drills, you can't you can't replicate a game situation. In, in an open gym, right? In an open gym, you can try, you can play hard in spurts, but you're not playing organized defensive basketball where you have to execute on the defensive end of the floor. You may be working on your one-on-one defense, your rotations a little bit here and there, um, but in FIBA, you have to, you're, you're pressured, you're, you're, you're putting in the maximum effort that you can to play defense. And I think, like, seeing Derek White, it's because the reason why I'm talking about this is because Derek White, man, dude, that guy fights over screens, under screens, takes charges, gets on the floor, um, switches, communicates, and does everything on the defensive end on a supremely high level right now in this FIBA game. And he's playing, I think he's averaging around 12 to 15 minutes a game. I don't know what it is after these last two games against Greece and against Brazil, but he's playing, and yeah, he's not he's not starting, he's not getting the bulk of the minutes. Donovan Mitchell and Kemba Walker are uh, rightfully so, right? Derek White isn't there offensively as those two guys are. Those two guys are the offensive guys on their respective NBA teams. And they should be getting the minutes that Derek White is not. So I'm perfectly fine with Derek White coming off the bench in this in this tournament. So the minutes aren't a problem. I don't want you get I don't want Spurs fans to get all caught up on he's only playing so many minutes, he's only averaging don't look at the stats. Do not look at the stats. He's only averaging five point six points and he's averaging three assists, which is like second or third highest on the team and, and only playing twelve or fifteen minutes. You know, so the stats are misleading, but if you're watching the game, if you subscribe to ESPN Plus, uh, I did, just so I can watch our boy Derek White play, and, and I'm a huge fan of Olympic basketball. Olympic basketball is one of the most toughest types of, of high-level basketball that you can find, because every league, the NBA, the Euro Leagues, they all have their rules that tailor to their brand of basketball, right? There's all different types of brand of basketball, like the NBA is a three-point shooting league and, and, and touch fouls and, and flopping and, and whatnot. Um, FIBA is like super hardcore, just meant to be tough, right? And so I love this game that they play. I'm a huge fan of, it reminds me of high school basketball, uh, college basketball with the best players in the world, right? Awesome. So Derek White, I just want to give a shout out. I think him playing in this FIBA tournament is the best thing that he could have done this summer. Making this team, guys. I've said it before on the podcast. He's a guy that 
overcomes obstacles and fights through adversity. And he wasn't even supposed to be on this team, but he, f he overcame that obstacle, made the select squad, and through circumstances, you know, out of his control, he he made the squad, and it's been it's gonna pay off Spurs Nation. It's going to pay off Spurs Nation. Come 21 days from now. When this is all over, the FIBA game is over, he's going to be ready to go. And I can't wait for him to team up with DeJounte. Like, DeJounte's a guy that's working out. Like, look, I'm telling you, 98%, 99% of the league is doing that. There's only 12 players, you know, on this FIBA team that are playing this Olympic game. Everyone else is trying to work out and do their thing and, and get stronger uh, and work on their game. So that's great. But Derek White is going to have a transformative year. Last year was his breakout year, right? Last year was his breakout season. So this year is going to be his, what do you, what, what should we call it, Spurs Nation? Last year was, okay, so last year was his, was here I am, was his here I am moment. Like this is who I am. Y'all best recognize the name and you guys better remember who I am. And he did that last year. Maybe this year will be a, a most improved season. I always find that point guards that play in FIBA always come back the next year to the NBA and play balls out, like totally different on another level. Russell Westbrook did it. Uh, uh, Derrick Rose did it. Uh, Kyle Lowry did it. Kemba's going to do it. Kemba's playing on another level. So Celtics, good for y'all. Celtics fans, good for y'all. Kemba's, yeah, Kemba, Smart, Tatum, and Jalen Brown on the Olympic squad that are going to be better. Um... So, shout out to Derek White, Go Spurs Go, my thoughts, make sure you subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Podcast Radio, iHeart Radio, SoundCloud, wherever you get your podcast. find us there, Big Heads Media Podcast Network at BigHeadsMedia.com. Go Spurs Go.